It's here. So their box that I received from Buzzin' with V via the Hugs and Kisses swap hosted by Mommy Me Crafts Patty and hello it's me Roxy. Roxy has arrived. So I sent V a box of goodies and she sent me a box of goodies. So this is what it looks like upon opening. I'm gonna unpack everything and I'll be back in just a moment. Going and going and going and going. Oh my gracious. And I really tried hard not to look as I was pulling things out. Um, but I will just start with the things that are a little more obvious and um, aren't hideable. So these, I mean, first of all, this adorable shaker glasses that she put as a little cutie on the top. And then these ribbon dangles with these beautiful hearts on them. Um, I love it when people reuse packaging like this because why reinvent the wheel when there's something that's already so beautiful that's been created, right? Um, but each of these has, oh my gosh, there's an avalanche right now of all the things that are just sliding everywhere. Each of these has the little clasp with the um, ribbons, like the ribbons are holding in there. And then each one has a little chain with a heart charm. They are beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love them. I actually just went on AliExpress and spent an, a, an a extravagant amount of money on new um, charms because I was feeling like I needed to get going on making some new or getting some new ones. I, I went ham for a while and just bought a ton and then all of a sudden I realized I'm running low and I actually bought a couple of these ones that I'm seeing right here. That's why I'm talking about it. These are so pretty V. I love them. Okay, so that was the first thing that I saw. And like I said, I tried not to look as I was going through things, but it was hard. Um, she wrapped everything just beautifully. I mean, look at the stitching around that rosette. They're stitching on the bottom of the bag that she created. Super duper cute. And one of the things we we're supposed to include was some purchased gifts. And so she brought me some ribbon. How cute. Some Valentine ribbon. That will be perfect in my crafting for next year. Thank you very much. And then of course, like this is going anywhere, but in my stash. Um, let's see. Here is, looks like, and I did this for her too. I made her a, a um, what do we call it? Embellishment box. And it looks like she used a Happy Hearts collection and Sweet Talk, which are both really fun collections. I love both of those. I've been using those a lot this year as well for a lot of my crafting. Oh, we had some escapees here. And, oh my gosh, how cute. Oh my gosh, all of these are gonna come in so useful. So, We've got some little heart stickers and then there's these heart shapes, the gold. And I love crafting with gold. I know people like go one way or another. I'm a gold person. And look at these ones with little paw prints. How cute. Sorry, I'm just kind of trying to resort what, what got around a little bit. Some of the cabochons that are the Valentine hearts here. Look at these, these elaborate, really pretty hearts with kind of like the Celtic knotwork on them. I love those. Boy, you are really generous, V. Oh my goodness sakes. Made with love. Oh, look at these pretty beads with like the foil inside. That's so beautiful. And then these marbled ones to go with it. How pretty. And then there's both pink and purple glitter hearts. This thing's got spilled around. I want to make sure that I don't miss anything, but I also don't want to like be excessive with like super slowly going through everything. And then I just ordered some of those. So that's fun that I have even more. Maybe I'll just add everything to this collection. 
and then the half and half heart. I don't have any of those. And look at these cute little faces, little clay bead faces, or like a little happy bead. And then these pretty purple and red. And then look at these little um, faces, like little eyes closed, super cute. This is gonna be really fun to craft with for the next, ho um, ho almost said Halloween season, <laughs> next Valentine season. And then she put a little cover on the inside and not to mention, I mean, even this is stitched like crazy. There's stitching all around that heart. There's stitching all around here. And like the little winky, this is one of my favorite stickers from that collection. I don't have a heart rosette. I'm thinking I need to get one because I'm seeing them that she used and they're so pretty. And then this little tassel that she tied on here. Love, love, love it. Thank you, V. Okay, I have to admit, I saw this um, on her, I believe it was TikTok, where I saw this. And it's a slimline card. And she actually taught me what a slimline card is. It's just the long, slender card. And then this one, she used Sweet Talk for it. And then there are just tons of um, sequins in there. And then I love the background of the sewn hearts. See, this is what I love about swaps is how much I learn from somebody else and what they did. I just used this one on my son's Valentine because um, he loves airplanes so much. And then inside, Happy Valentine's Day. So cute. I love the fibers here too. Those are really pretty. Um, just everything. And then I just like how she put those little flowers throughout just to add a little extra sparkle. This is beautiful. Um, I recognize this from Scrap Diva, and so there's like the house, and then also the window panes and everything. So pretty. Oh, she thinks about me a lot too. <laughs> that was kind of a funny thing when I was creating the cards for her and just different things for her. I was like, how much should I put I love you on things? And I thought this isn't necessarily about me having romantic love for her, just me having like love you know it's just really love for her and appreciation for um how much she creates in her friendship and just everything else like she's one of those people that just inspires the heck out of me and i felt honestly intimidated when i found out that she was who i was swapping with and i had a hard time getting going i was just like oh no is it gonna be good enough and then i thought she's gonna like whatever i make the the, the uh the fact that I, I followed through and did the thing means a lot too. Oh, how fun. So a little collection of beads in here. And then not to mention this beautiful little collection of ephemera that's on here once again with those hearts, the love you and the bird, and then these little sparkly beads. Those will come in very handy for a million different projects. So not only did they get an embellishment box, I also got a bead box, very cool. And no one stacks up to me like pancakes. Oh, how fun. Some little pom-poms, little hearts, and then some picks, some cupcake toppers. All will be very useful. I'm thinking the things that are in packages like this are the things that are the, the uh, extra gift that we were supposed to include. She did such a nice job of wrapping them. Oh yeah, look at even more. Happy Valentine's Day, some clippies, and then these little notes in the bottle. Super cute. And look at, I just keep getting little, little bits of this and that. And then once again, a little cluster here. Like she was like full on with those heart rosettes. Like I said, I need to, I need to get me one of those um, dies. It's like, do I just rip into it? Or do I open it carefully like an adult? I'll open it carefully like an adult this time. In here. Oh, very cool. So it's faux leather wide ribbon that you can um, use in die cutting to make all kinds of little things. I actually have a little backpack um, that I've been wanting to get something like this for little backpack die cut that I think that will be perfect for. Okay, I think everything else that I have here is stuff that she has made. That's my question. So this is like, I mean, seriously, I was emptying that box forever and I'm not mad about it. 
funny thing about this whole box is I thought it had been misdelivered when all the time it was in my house. It was just kind of cracking me up. I was going back and forth. They were like, oh my gosh, it's not here. And then all of a sudden, my husband's like, it's right here. <laughs> Shoot. Um, little pick flags. It says, be mine every 14th, sweetheart, and love you. And what I love about these is the stitching on them. I love the gold hearts. And then more than anything, I don't know if I'll ever be able to take these out of the packaging because that's just so very pretty. I mean, look at that with the, the little stars back there and then the stitching around there. And then this really soft, it's not, um, it's not acetate. It's just like a really soft plastic. They're just so pretty. And I love how she left the tags or the tails on the, on the sewn part. How did she do that? She must have sewn across it and then folded it. Yeah, because it's sewn around the edge there. This is beautiful. It's like the little things like this. They're just so pretty. And then this looks like it's my memory decks card. Oh my gosh. I saw this. I've been watching things that she posted and just been going like, mm, was that? No. She's not going to give that to me. Apparently she did. This, I, I was really super inspired by this one because of all the layers. And not just the layers, but then there's interactive elements to it too. So like this, I believe, yeah, it pulls out. So it's like a little bag topper if you wanted to use it as a bag topper. And it has just piles of stuff. And you can see that she did an accordion piece under there to give it dimension and then um, a little uh, what's it called envelope with flowers in it and then these cute little charms on there the airplane another one of those little sparkle flowers I love the little happy faces you make my heart sore and then the pennant flag kisses and then oh more of those balloons very cool and then it doesn't end there because there's all of these little hugs, love, cute, you, these little flags in here. And those come out and I can use them for something if I want to. And then I'm left with this cute little berry memory dex card that has these little charms on it. And then the cute um, little pom pom, just everything, little cactus. Oh, this is a clippy. Oh my gosh. I thought that was like on there permanently. And then of course she marked it with her name. This is a beautiful piece. Um, I don't have this basket die. And I was like, I don't need that. And now as I'm seeing what people are doing with it, I think that there are so many different uses for it. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. The craftsmanship is beautiful. All the stitching is beautiful. Just everything. When I put something narrow like that through my sewing machine, my sewing machine literally eats it like shoves it down into the, um, like the, the place where the needle goes down, it just shoves stuff down in there, no matter how slow or careful I go. And so I admire when people are able to use, to sew on really narrow strips like that. But this was just so clever how it all goes together. Look at that, isn't that cute? Oh. It's just beautiful. And then like just all those little details of like the little cup flowers on there. Thank you so much, V. It's absolutely lovely. And I have light pink thread and you're making me want to get some, uh, some more hot pink or dark pink thread because it really pops and stands out and looks just really neat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I feel so fortunate that I own this. This is such a, such a beautiful piece. I mean, seriously, I'm so, like, I'm so honored. Um, next up, I love this, this netting. And I don't have any of it. I haven't come across it. Looks like there's snow on it, and it's just so pretty and delicate looking. I need to find where people get that from so that I can get my own. And, oh my gosh. I saw this too, oh my goodness. I never would have guessed that I, I would be getting these beautiful things that she created. Oh my goodness sakes. So this is one of the, um, this is a Scrap Diva Designs box. 
It's like the, the mailer box. And she made it into a little suitcase with this little XO charm on there with a lobster clasp and everything. And even a little heart on there. Super cute. Oh, this is actually, this is part of the dies too from Scrap Diva Designs. That's beautiful and clever. I love how you use the um, little hearts that are naturally in there to make, that's really smart. So the little hearts that are on the letters are actually just part of the die cut and she just used that for the, um, for connecting them. Smart tee pants. And then all these little lippies that are all over there, all the stitching on here. And then, um, what is this? This is really cool paper. I'm just realizing that that's something that you cut, isn't it? What is that? Or is that a sticker? That's, no, this is, oh. I feel like I saw, I saw her making these bows out of something unexpected. Now I'm gonna have to go back and look and see because I remember them. Okay, and then there's, sorry, I'm just so like in awe. And then there's this little chain that connects everything and a little handle on here with of course some more charms just everywhere. Just so many details on here that make it so beautiful. Okay, should I open it? How am I gonna open it? Or does it open? Am I supposed to open it? Okay, I'm supposed to open it. It opened right there. And inside, oh, and then the lips. I didn't even mention the lips that look so cute. Oh, I see what she did here. I was seeing through there and so I couldn't quite figure out. She actually just made a little acetate window in between the lips to put all those little hearts. Cute, okay. And then inside, look at how smart she is. She even put the little, the little pull on there so that I could pull this out and here is, yeah, she has, I think this, is this paper or plastic plates? Is that what that was? Gosh, I have to go look. Now I'm just like dying of curiosity. I mean, it, it, it just looks fantastic with the, with the um, sentiments cut out and then all those little lip pieces. It just looks amazing. I love the way that looks. I saw it with the bows and I thought, oh, that's cool. But I see it with the, with the um, sentiments and I, I think it's just perfection. So this is the um, Scrap Diva Designs little uh, lipstick case. And it's got like the little dipper and then where you can put the dip in there. And she included, she put it all together and she included little charms with it and everything. And then look how cute this is underneath there. She's got this shred and then a little bit of extra love in there with those hearts. This is beautiful packaging, beautiful creations, just all around beautiful, just wow. Um, flawless, yes, it is, it's flawless. This is absolutely incredible, I'm blown away. Oh, oh I am yours, B. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Just everything, oh, I, I'm, that's, I, I love the way that looks. I am adopting that. That was gonna be something I'd do in the future. Okay, sorry, I can't linger for too long. I'll have to go back later and look at things. Um, otherwise, this video is gonna get really, really long. Sorry about the crinkle noises. I know sometimes that hurts people's ears. I apologize. But look at, here's more of that. I think it, I think it is plates. What is this from? Oh, okay, okay, now I understand. I'm like, why would she include just that random little piece in there? This is supposed to be part of this basket right here, so I'll reattach that later. But look at it, there's one of those bows. Ugh, it looks just perfect. So this is the berry basket die, and she made this into a little box, a little gift box that is absolutely perfect. Um, and then, crocheted hearts and a little acetate box. Oh, oh, my heart. Okay, so cute packaging, but what I'm really excited about is what's inside. I honestly think this is a gift. Um, oh my gosh, it's better than I thought. Oh. <laughs> 
I thought she was just included um, some of the card, uh, the chipboard stickers that she had sewn around. But no, she made these beautiful little clusters. And she does the same thing I do. I peel all the sticky off of there and then sew them. Oh my gosh, I just love the way these both look. I love the silver thread on there. I love the stitching, the little star there. Just everything is absolutely beautiful. Oh, oh, and there's even a little, a little key charm, a little heart key charm. Um, hearts, I mean, it's just like all piled up and so pretty. I love, um, I remember when I was in my early 20s, people were like, I said, I want funky picture frames. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, if something looks a little chaotic, I usually like it. So I like funky lamps and funky key, um, uh, picture frames. I like a little bit of chaos. I like having to look deep to figure out what's going on. And so I love that there's stuff that you can see really clearly and stuff that you can't see, that you get the shapes of things just really clearly. This is so pretty. I love the time it takes to like process something like this absolutely beautiful and then she's got the little extra sequins with the diamond dots in there uh, just such prettiness beautiful oh and then some little um, confetti hearts that are clay always useful okay 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 girl and then she must have heard me saying I don't have this die <laughs> I didn't see this all oh, this oh my gosh look at this she spoiled me oh I feel like I need to send her more stuff now because I mean I liked what I sent her but now that I'm seeing all this I'm like okay this isn't over this is not over V we are not done <laughs> and look at these I don't know if she made these or what but these are so cute oh look how adorable they are dying oh my goodness and there's a whole jar of them look at that there must be like 20 in there I am truly blessed this is so amazing I feel so honored I don't I don't ever want to put it all away I don't ever want to like not have this out because it's just so incredible and I'm not done you guys okay so I did see her making this I have I, I have this die also, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. I When it first came out, I was like, well, you know, sometimes you don't know how much you're gonna like things until you actually make it. And this was one of those things where I was like, I don't know about that. But I find myself coming back to it over and over and over because it, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of different things to do with it. There's a million little tuck spots that you can make, and you can see that V embellished this like crazy. It is beautiful. Look at, she sewed around every one of those letters and stuffed it with all those little hearts. Um, got a kiss there. Got a cute little um, leopard here and then a little panda bear, which I love so much. I love it so much from this collection that I do not use it. I just keep on like going, there's gonna be the perfect project for it. So now I can finally use it because this is mine and I'm gonna be keeping it and, um, and I have that little panda now. Um, something that she did that I thought was really cool is she embellished the front and back of each page. There is not a reverse of the die and in my die machine, it like marks the paper up and so I, I just wasn't sure what I should do with that. Um, it's just because my, my, uh, mats have cuts and things in them that leave scars on the backside. So I, when I saw her doing this, I was like, oh, that's, that's something I'm going to have to do. And actually when I made my little, this is the one I, a, a Valentine I made for my son. I actually did do the back of it based on the fact that I had seen her do it. So, and he won't get this till Tuesday, but he doesn't watch my videos. So. It'll be fine. <laughs> and then she's got the XO. So this one is made with um, Sweet Talk, I believe it's called. Can you see all this? Okay, there we go. And there is just so much going on here. Look at all these clippies on here. Like I said, I love the chaos of it. I think it's so fun to have so much to process. I often say that um, what we do is like, for people who loved pop-up books and things like that when they were little, which I did and I could never get enough of. This is what, th that's the audience for 
what we do. You know, just all these little surprises and everything that's tucked away inside, all the interactive elements, I just love that. And so here's a bunch of little, little goodies, little, oh, look how cute that is. Um, little uh, places where you can write, tuck pictures. I love that, that zigzag stitch on there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get some really pretty bright pink, um, bright pink thread and maybe some other colors too. And then look at, she stitched around those hearts. I love how chunky this is. Like I'm all about the chunk when it comes to things like this. Like why do you, why do we want it to lay flat? We don't, we want it to be really chunky and thick and like have all these different little pieces to it. Look at that little face. How flippin' cute is that? Oh my gosh. And she like went ahead and put love behind there, like used all the cutouts and everything over and over. And we've got a little envelope here. Oh my gosh, she even embellished that. Look at that. So little places for pictures in there or whatever. You know, you can put whatever you want in there. But look how cute. Oh my gosh. Love it. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if she cut that out or if that's a sticker. Sorry, I'm gonna pick it up. It's a sticker, okay. Because I was like, where's that die from? That's a good one. And look at all of this. I love how she does all of the little hearts on there. And this, I, I know that this has to open up. I can't even remember what we were supposed to send. Let me just say that V went above and beyond. Oh, look at this is another one, another accordion. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna take this to school and show this to my students on Valentine's Day. And they're gonna wanna touch it and I'm gonna be like, no, they're first graders. And I won't be, no, I'll say, yeah, I'll look at it with you again. <laughs> but I'm not letting them touch it because it'll get grimy. Oh, how cute. I have this dye too. This is so cute. Oh. And then she's got, I can write in there things I like about you that's adorable oh this and then here's that soft plastic again I'm gonna be writing to her to find out what she's using for all these different things um, I like the soft plastic because when you use acetate it has a tendency to have stuff stick to it and then you get like smeary things on it and this is like nice and soft so it's got a little bit of give to it also more hearts this has got to be a die. It is a die. I'm going to ask her about where she got that from, too. Um, I love everything. Love your tons, V. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. How much fun is this? Okay, get in there. Get in there. Okay, and now I've got that in there. I'm going to put that behind. Okay, there we go. So much good stuff. Oh, I'm just like smiling from ear to ear. Hand stitching on top of everything else. Gracious woman. Look how beautiful that is. So we've got the pink stitching and then the hand stitching on top of it. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Just gorgeous. Lovery. Yeah. Lovery. Yeah. <laughs> That's like what's on the little glasses there. What's happening here? What's going on here? What? 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 This, oh my gosh, look at, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That is ingenious. That is so cool. I was like, what's happening here? It, what's happening here is just perfection. V, you are an artist, like seriously. Look how gorgeous all of this is. I am learning so much today from Miss V. Okay, I don't even know where all this goes again. These pretty little fluffy things. Look at that with the little puffy stickers there. Those are just kind of like, I think they were just kind of tucked in here, like so. And then I think this was like this. And that was like that just to keep everything from um, flying around. Amazing. And then even the back, Made with Love by Bazooki. And it's obvious that there's a lot of love in that. It's obvious. Thank you so much, V. 
But guess what, guys? I'm not done. <laughs> I, uh, oh my gosh. Like, my heart is just full. So I'll open this one and then I'll get to this one. This is, okay, so we were supposed to include die cuts and she included the dies. What the heck? Okay, so, oh my goodness. My, oh, don't, don't become part of that. No, no. Okay, so there's all these cute dies in there. Oh, look, look, look. It says L-O-V-E love. That's beautiful on that paper. Oof, da. And then we have some little, we're both representatives for Scrap Diva Designs. And so she and I both had to dig into our stashes to find things to give to each other. Because we were like, um, I don't know what to give to you. Look at this cute little box. Because we have most of what the other has. Look at this little heart box here. How cute. And look at like, it looks like there's some special folding that can happen that I'll mess around with. Oh, this is like a heart ornament. Now I understand. A, a little box. I'm not sure what's happening here. It looks like there's some folding. Oh, it's a heart. It's a heart. It's a 3D heart. There's two little 3D hearts. And I already talked about these because they're flashy and pretty. And then these little doily rings for layering. Super cute. The thing that I just kept reminding myself as I was making things for V was everybody has their own style. Um, and that's why we swap is to get somebody else's flavor. So if you're like, I'm not as high of a level as so-and-so is and I'm afraid to enter swaps, enter the swap and, and learn from it. You will learn from what the other person sends you and you will learn from um, looking at the videos and what everybody creates. So it looks like this is a little heart banner and it looks like this is a little box of some kind. And then look at, that will come in useful a million times over. Little stitched hearts, they're like doilies on the edges, beautiful. I'm excited to use those. That'll be fun. And then I just like glazed over this like it was nothing. But look at this envelope. Look how pretty that is. With the gold stitching, I have not had luck with gold thread. I've kind of given up on it um, for in my sewing machine. My sewing machine just kind of like, I have an old sewing machine that I, there are things I love about it, but there are other things that I don't love so much in like the narrow sewing, it doesn't do that so well. And then like more delicate threads, it just kind of chomps them. Um, so funny thing about this, this is the mailbox and it looks so much like the, um, the, uh, what was it called? The machine that you get, that, like, has food inside, but she has a, a SVG or something for her. But I've made, like, a whole bunch of them, but this reminds me a lot of that. And so I'm just like, it's so cool that I kind of, like, one of the things that got me into 3D crafting was the stuff that the has been generous enough to share with our community. And then now I have some of the very things that she's created. She is absolutely amazing. Not only does she craft um, like in like this kind of stuff, she also knows how to make all the SVGs and stuff, uh, files and everything. And she shares them quite often for free with our community. And I just think that like, that is incredible. One of the things I love about our crafting community on Instagram is the fact that we don't necessarily do a lot of gatekeeping, that we share things pretty openly, um, share tutorials if we have time. And um, like like I said, with her, with her sharing the, uh, the SVGs and stuff, it's just, it's just beautiful. You know, not every artist community is like that. And I just really appreciate that about, um, her and our community in general. So I really had a hard time with my mailbox. I had a hard time making one, figuring out what I wanted to do, what I wanted to make. Um, 
V looks like she jumped into that with both feet and just made something absolutely incredible. This is a beautiful mailbox. I mean, from the back to the front to everywhere. I mean, look at all of the details on this with all of the sewing, all of the framing, just everything on here. She sewed each individual panel on here. I love all of the tails that are left here, all sticking out and stuff, adding a little bit of interest and chaos and one more thing to like check out and look at. Sorry, just getting rid of all the little bits of shred that I'm pretty sure don't belong in there. Every surface is decorated. And then look at the feet on this thing. I mean, seriously, look at those. I mean, I mean just look at them. Oh my gosh. Just and then like, look at this little like heart lock thing that goes like that. Oh my gosh. It's legitimately a lock to hold on because <laughs> look what happens. Oh my gosh. Uh, look at that. Seriously. So the postman can come along and empty that out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, and then I also got a sneak peek of what's inside. That is so cute. I don't know where this came from. I don't know if she made this up herself or is this is something that she um, found online somewhere, but wow, it's incredible. I love the little pocket on the front. Look at this um, cute little, look at she used the plastic plates or whatever and then the for, for the sentiment there. And look at this pocket on here, sending hugs and kisses. The mail truck is coming with all the goodies. And then, oh, look at, oh my gosh. This is a Scrap Diva Designs thing. It's the um, shaker mix pocket and she included the shaker in there. And then here's one of those bows again and then look at the charm that's on here adorable so beautiful wire wrapped beads and, and everything super duper cute so is that everything that was in that pocket not everything because look look at all the good stuff that flows out of there <laughs> a little extra fun in there <laughs> Well, I don't have anywhere to put that, so I'll just put it over here. Okay, so inside here, oh my gosh, look how the opening is. It's this little piece here that's like a million and one pieces of paper, and then it flips up and you can put stuff inside. Oh my gosh, the whole thing just pops off. Okay, and there we go. So, and inside there's some mail for me. So much mail. Oh great, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, pulling things out. Uh, it just, like, it just keeps coming. I promise you this is the last thing. Not that I think that you're any more mad than I am about all of these things. But look at that, even that inside there. Look how it's like so beautifully finished. This is a really cool mailbox. I wouldn't be surprised if she designed that because she's just like that. Okay, so more stuff to look at. And look at these cute little bag toppers up here. You're my happy place with the felty hearts and the bunchy um, paper. And then, cute, there's that little cute dog again. Everything just has so many little details on it from the, the extra, um, I mean, the, what's it called, the little charms, the tassels. I mean, there's charms everywhere. There's sewing everywhere. I think, is that a Scrap Diva Designs stamp? And then like, even this zigzag paper has a stitch on it. I know that this is a Scrap Diva Designs thing. Oh, that's how that goes. <laughs> that makes I cut those out together. So there's just an outline of that doily part on the back. See, you learn things, people. <laughs> this makes much more sense. Um, I've been like, how does that work? You know, common sense eluded me, apparently. Okay, so there's number one. A little cute embellishment with the cute bag topper. Here's another one. 
another cute bag topper with the lips. And then she did the plastic plate again and she double layered it with some paper. And then another little dangle and this time she did the um, sequins with the beads and made a little charm from that glued on some little pieces and then we have a galantine and she even put some lips and hearts inside behind that once again as I'm calling it soft plastic and this one's kind of has some opacity to it I like how opaque that one is this one's shiny so many questions so V is going to be at the Shar Crane retreat that's coming up pretty soon. Um, she's one of the teachers slash presenters, and I would love to go to that. I used all my personal days on a trip with my extended family this year, but I really would like to go um, to this one. It's going to be a pretty amazing retreat. So hopefully they'll have another one someday, and, uh, but for now. I have to miss this year but V is presenting at that one and I would love to be able to take her class at the retreat okay all right there we go now he's up front you're so love never forget that little puppy another heart is this one pretty similar to that one yeah they're very similar not the same but very similar super duper cute I like the white ink that she used for those stamps. I used the stamps and they didn't turn out um, quite as clear as that. So that was, those look really nice. And then this one, stay, stay chic. I did see this on her Instagram, on something. I like how she used the um, little bit of ribbon there to close it, I used a magnet and it made it kind of chunky, which I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But then she made these cute little stacked heart embellishments to tuck inside this one. I call this a gift card holder, but I think that this is a really fun use for it too. Just to put some really fun little embellies in there. Heart, I mean, just even behind there, she's got an extra detail there. So cute. Woof, oof -da. I'm like tired after looking at this because it's, there's just so much to process. It's so beautiful. There's just, oh, I'm learning, 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 learning. Okay, and the very last thing. Get back in there, get back in there. Oh, and don't forget your topper. Don't forget your topper. And I'm pretty sure that this is also a Scrap Diva Designs. I think I, yeah, that is. It's the, the doily. It makes a perfect little bag topper. Oh, and I got the perfume bottle as well. And once again, she used those plastic plates. I am sold on the plastic plate situation at this point. I think that this looks absolutely amazing. It looks so clean. It's just beautiful, perfect. And it comes out so nice. And like so many little ways that she used it, like even just that little little clippy thingy to hold on the little charm piece. It's just ingenious. So um, <laughs> I, I'm kind of speechless. I don't know what to say because everything in here was so absolutely incredible. And you, um, you made my Valentine's wonderful, V. Thank you so much. I appreciate every bit of effort and energy that went into all the things that you created for my swap which is copious and generous creative and kind and I just want to say thank you thank you I feel honored to own these beautiful things that you made and um, honestly you didn't need to buy anything because everything in here is exactly what I wanted um, and but I appreciate those things too. So thank you so much. And with that, I guess I'm finished. Oh, there's more. Some line card here. <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't end. Thank you for watching the whole thing. And uh, thanks for sticking around. And I'll see you next time in another crafty video. Bye for now, friends.